Being a huge tactical RPG and roguelike fan, I wasn't sure what to expect after months of hype around this game. But with its surprise drop last Tuesday during the Nintendo Direct, let's see if this mech vs bug battle truly lives up to the hype. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Into the Breach on the Nintendo Switch. Taking place in the future, you are commanding a three-mech team trying to clear up a group of islands of deadly overgrown creatures known as Vex. Beginning at one of four islands with a number of procedurally generated regions that you must recapture from the gigantic creepy crawlies. Each region is an isometric grid with buildings used to maintain your power grid and varying per level objectives, such as defend the power plant or kill seven Vex. These objectives aren't required but give you additional power or reputation points if you can complete them. These reputation points can be spent between islands to purchase different weapons or upgrades for your mechs, adding some tools to your repertoire to make you that much more of a formidable foe. Keeping the Vex away from your buildings can prove to be quite challenging as they keep spawning from the ground every turn. When they do get destroyed, it feels devastating as civilians die from your wrong decisions. When actually getting a game over, you lose your progression but keep one pilot for your next run. So if that pilot's leveled up a bit, you come into the next game with some advantage. As you progress through the game, you unlock new islands, which once unlocked can be played through in any order and scale difficulty depending how many islands have been defeated beforehand. As you defeat more islands or special objectives, you earn coins which unlock new troops of mechs for you to command. Each class being very different, really forcing you to learn and adapt in this brutal environment, and I mean brutal. In the beginning of Into the Breach, be prepared to die and die a lot. Getting a solid understanding of the game will only come with many deaths, as even a seasoned tactical RPG player, I've had my butt handed to me unexpectedly on many occasions. The moment you let your guard down, be prepared to lose power, your mechs, and even your life. Some of the decisions I've made during a run of Into the Breach have taken so much time and thought that I've often caught myself just staring at my screen for 10 minute periods of time, weighing each option greatly as the consequences will affect you as such. If you carelessly make your decisions, your run will be over before you know it. However, if you take your time and strategically chip away at the Vec, before you know it, you'll be onto your next island and one step closer to your goal. As there are a lot of different systems at work within Into the Breach, it will take you some time before everything clicks. Each enemy has different abilities, attack orders, and passive effects. When taken advantage of properly, you can have enemies taking each other out. For you to truly succeed at this game, you must understand what's really important at each level. Yes, it would be great to keep all of your mechs at full health, but as long as they survive, keeping your cities intact is what really counts. As you can sometimes get overwhelmed, it's important to keep a level head, take your time, and keep your eye on the goal. I've sometimes reminded myself of an old man staring at a chessboard the way I stop and strategize with this game. The game runs great on handheld and in docked, getting around 5 hours of battery life in handheld mode. However, using the Joy-Con joysticks, I found the pointer would occasionally continue traveling when I released the joystick, causing attacks to execute on the wrong space. And when the stakes are this high, that can be quite disheartening. Into the Breach is a fantastic experience with life or death decision making that will have you on the edge of your seat as it unfolds. While this game is not for the faint of heart, those whom are willing to invest the time will be rewarded greatly for that effort. With fantastic gameplay, rewarding progression, and emotionally impactful decision making, I can happily recommend this to any fan of the genre. That's why I'm giving Into the Breach on the Nintendo Switch a 9 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at The Flannel Fox and on Instagram at The Flannel Fox Gamer. Be sure to follow and subscribe because the more followers and subscribers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. I'd like to thank Subset Games for providing me with this review copy. Also, Mark from Switch Up for some great professional encouragement recently. Thanks for watching my videos, and as always, see you next time, Switchers.